All right, in this video, I just want to go over and talk about workflows, specifically the workflow engine within Microsoft Dynamics CRM. Uh, first, I wanted to just address exactly what a workflow is for those who may not know. Um, this is different than actually how work flows through the system. So I'm not talking about the lead, the opportunity process or anything like that. Um, I'm talking specifically about the workflow engine Microsoft has built into Microsoft Dynamics CRM. Um, it can do simple things such as sending email notifications. It can also update other records based on certain events or triggers within the system. So it's a pretty powerful tool that you can use. And one thing that people like to often do with it is actually send email notifications out to the salespeople or even other customer service people too when a case is reassigned to them, things like that. So I thought I'd start by just kind of showing quickly how to create an email notification within CRM using the workflow engine. Um, and how to actually build something out there fairly easy and quickly. So as you can see here, I'm on my dashboard. To get to the workflow area, just click on the menu and then click on settings and processes. Once we get here, I'll just go ahead and click new to create a brand new process. And what I'll do is just give it a quick name. I'm gonna specifically for this example, say we're gonna send an email notification when an opportunity is reassigned. So if something comes into the office and needs to be reassigned to a certain sales rep, this would actually send an email notification to that salesperson. Just give it a basic name. The category is workflow. There are other types of processes, but today I'm just going to talk about workflows. And the entity I want is opportunity. I'll leave it as run the workflow in the background, and I'm going to start from a blank process because I don't have an existing template currently. But that's something you can set up in the future if you want to. Click OK, and it'll pull up the full form for creating a, a, a workflow. For the scope, if I want it to fire for all users, I'll pick organization, but you can limit to just within your business unit or just for certain user, that, which would be the owner of the workflow. You can fire it on multiple things here, start when record's created and when record is assigned. For this example, I'm just gonna do it when it's reassigned. So not when it's first created, but you can do both if you want, and that way you would send an email both times when the record is first created to whoever the owner is or when it is reassigned. So I have the trigger when it's gonna go and then I just need to start building out the workflow itself. So I select this row here and then click on add step. And the one I want here, as you can see, there's a variety of different things. I could do check conditions, wait conditions, create records, update records. For this one, I wanna send an email directly. So I'll just click that. So I'm just going to basically put in a brief description for myself on what this specific step does, because if you have a workflow with a lot of steps, it can get a little confusing when you're looking at it. And I'll just click on set properties for this email. This pops up a blank email template, and I just fill in the information I want here. The from field, I'm not going to worry about because it'll come from the person who is the owner of the workflow. So that's okay. You can always hard code it to somebody else if you want. The to field, I want to dynamically change. So I'm going to use the form assistant to dynamically change who it's going to based on basically the owner of the workflow, or I should say, sorry, the owner of the opportunity. So that's who it's going to go to. So you can see that there's the highlighted field there, owner opportunity. So it's going to dynamically send it to whoever is listed as the owner there. For the subject line, I'll hard code something here. And then in the body as well, you can put some brief information. Um, opportunity has been assigned to you. And you can also pull in dynamic some information from the opportunity itself. Maybe the, info, the actual topic field or the actual opportunity first. Add that in here. Put the topic field in here as well. And maybe the account it's tied to. So you'd at least give the person when they receive the email, if it's a salesperson in the field, they're working off of their phone, they at least see some basic information uh, for the opportunity itself. Maybe even like we could put an estimated close date too. Um, that might be helpful for them. So anything that you think might be helpful would be good to put in the email. Just kind of like a high level gives them some basic information on what they have just been assigned to them. And I also like to put in here a link to the opportunity itself. So if you do that, to do that, you just click on insert hyperlink, pulls up a little wizard here. 
And this is where we'll enter then the information on the actual link we're going to put in the email notification. So the text to display will be a link to opportunity for the URL. We're just going to select record URL. So it'll dynamically populate the opportunity, the URL specifically to that opportunity that it is fired off of. So that's everything I need here. Just click save and close. And this workflow is pretty straightforward. It's when the uh, opportunity is assigned or reassigned, it will send an email to the owner of that opportunity. So I'll just go ahead and save this workflow. And then once that's done, I will also need to activate the workflow. So click on activate. It'll ask me to confirm that. Go ahead and hit yes. And once that's done, we'll close that. Let me navigate over to sales opportunities and we'll actually fire the workflow and then we can see it create the actual email within CRM as well. So for example if I want to reassign this one there we go. Just highlight this one and I can reassign it. Just taking a minute here to load and assign it to somebody else in the system. I'll assign it to Joe here. Click assign, reassigns that opportunity. And then if I change the view to open opportunities, just want to take a look at that opportunity. There was a six orders here. Let's wait for it to open. I don't know if my Wi-Fi is a little bit uh, slow right now today, but here's the opportunity that we just hid and the activities on it then. Click on that and we'll be able to see that the workflow fired and created our email notification here. There it is. A new opportunity has been assigned to you. If you click on that, this new opportunity has been assigned to you. Opportunity, six orders, gives you the topic, gives you the account as well, you can see here. Um, estimated close date was 327. So you can take a look at that as well. And it gives you a link back to the opportunity too. So within Serum, it obviously ties it directly to that opportunity. And it also, it would email out to that, the owner of the workflow. So in this case, it would be sent over to Joe since he was reassigned as the owner of the this opportunity. Um, you do have to, of course, have the email router or the server-side sync set up for CRM to be able to email out on its own. But once that is in place, you can set up as many workflows like this as you need to. As I said, it can be great for new leads, new opportunities, new cases. Um, even if you reassign large accounts to new salespeople, um, they can send a notification out to them that something has been reassigned to them. And they'll get the email notification and be able to start working on it right away. Thank you very much for your time. I appreciate it. And have a great day.